Hi and welcome to Breezy. In this video we'll look into 404 pages and I'll show you how to build this custom 404 page for your WordPress website. The 404 error or page not found error is often referred to as the last page of the internet. Every website uh, has one and you get to it when you try to access a page that is uh, not there. Uh, look, users come to your website from many different places uh, on the web and if you don't take very good care of your redirects when you change URLs or if they type it wrong in the browser, they'll end up on this 404 page. Here is how the default 404 page looks in WordPress. Uh, it does the job, but uh, when you are building a custom breezy made websites like uh, the one I'm uh, having here, uh, most likely you don't want your 404 to look like this and um, you, you'd want something more in line with your branding. Some choose to be quirky, others funny. I prepare a couple of examples that I like a lot. For example, Pixar's 404 page. Uh, we see the sadness character from inside out with uh, the caption saying something like, oh, don't cry, it's just a 404 error. Very nice. And another one is uh, Blizzard's 404 page where it looks like you are lost in a blizzard and uh, they, the copy says uh, we've dispatched a rescue Morlock to guide you back to safety. <laughs> Very funny. Another good example is Marvel's uh, page not found. Uh, Hydra is currently attacking this page uh, and uh, Captain America uh, is going crazy here on the side. Nice. Look at 404 as a branding opportunity, a way to connect with your users on a more personal level. It's also a good way to keep your users engaged and funnel them to somewhere else on your website. Let's get back to our custom 404 page. Uh, here is what we'll build today. Uh, we'll touch on how to work with Breezy templates and some basic elements like text buttons and uh, we'll use the Lottie element uh, for the nice animation here in uh, the middle. Let's get started. What you want to do is to log in into your WordPress uh, admin go to Breezy, Templates, create a new template, we'll call it uh, 404. Uh, the type is single and uh, we want to include it in uh, 404 page and click the Add button. Publish it and now to the good stuff. Let's edit it with Breezy. You can see I have two blocks here, a header and a footer. Uh, these are here because um, I have some condition, global conditioning set uh, for block conditions uh, and the header and the footer are displayed across all my pages. Let's create uh, the 404 section. I'll give it a background color, move the opacity a bit lower. 34 it's okay what we want to have here is a title for the text of course you can build anything you want here use any elements and if you also have a breezy pro you can also put here um, the blog posts uh, products uh, anything uh, anything you you want or need but we'll we'll keep it simple so we need a text uh, in the middle we have a lot of element It comes with a default Lottie animation. Uh, we'll also have a description here and we'll also add a button to funnel uh, the users uh, on our homepage. Let's go with um, Sorry, we can't find it. And I'll play a bit with the text. Let's make it Europa. Maybe uh, 35 pixels. Bold. For the Lottie, you'll want to go to lottiefiles.com. Uh, uh, here you'll, you'll find the hundreds, uh, hundreds of free animations that you can use on your website. They also have a marketplace uh, if, you, if you want to spend some, uh, some cash. We'll uh, search for a 404. 
if you want to filter out the, the free from, uh, from the paid, you'll, you'll go type here and select free. But they also have a bunch of, uh, of uh, very cool stuff in the marketplace. So you'll want to check that out. Let's go with this one. And uh, you'll need to copy this URL. But uh, please uh, take note that uh, uh, this might not be available right from the get-go. Uh, I'm, I'm logged in, so you might uh, need to be logged in in order to, to be able to copy this URL. And we'll go back to Breezy. Paste the URL here in the um, Lottie link. Let's make it a bit larger. Ah, that's nice. And uh, for the text, we'll go with... Uh, We'll play with the alignment a bit and maybe change the color. I think we need some spacings here, so I'll add a spacer element to, to let the page breathe a bit. Let's actually, let's make the column, the, the, the block, let's make it a full height block. Ah, very nice. And on the bottom, we'll uh, we'll say go to home page. Maybe a bit smaller. Excellent. And this is it. Let's uh, let's save it. Go to dashboard. The template is already active and created. And if we were to go to visit our website and try to access a page like uh, whatever we'll get our custom 404 page. This is it. I hope you liked it. If you find this useful, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. I'll see you in the next one.